What's up guys? I am back after quite a bit of time away. Um, we had a couple of things come up and one of which I want to talk about in this video. We went on a family vacation and then we got home and just getting back to work and real life and all that fun stuff. I wanted to share with you what's been going on and why I have been MIA. And this <laughs> would be that reason. Um, we went on a family vacation to Florida recently. Um, my whole family goes to St. Augustine every year. After Florida, we adopted this little <laughs> nugget. Um, this is Coach. Um, took us about three names to find his, or it took us about three days to figure out what his name was gonna be. But we landed on Coach. Hey, oh, that's a good boy. Oh, thank you. And we have kind of just been trying to figure out life with a puppy. Um, he is a he is a 13 week old flat coat retriever. He's a rescue, so I mean that's always up in the air. But if you look at pictures, if you look at pictures of a flat coat retriever, that's usually what they look like. It's a puppy, and so that's been basically taking up our entire lives. So I have been looking on AdoptAPet.com. I will link that down below for a dog because I've always known that I wanted to adopt. Um, we're big. He is straight up growling at these teddy bears right now. <laughs> that is not gonna hurt you. He is terrified. <laughs> oh, you are, that's a teddy bear. It's a teddy bear, you calm down. Um, but we're big animal people and big animal lovers and there's no way that I would not adopt. Um, and that's everybody's preference, it doesn't matter. But it on a, I had been looking on it but I had been looking on adoptapet.com for quite a long time. My husband and I both decided that we would try and adopt a dog after our vacation because we didn't want to be gone a week and have him suffer the consequences. So <laughs> right when we got home I immediately started searching and three days after we got home we went and had a meet and greet with him and we got him. So, um, I know this isn't really a Disney related video, but I wanted to share with you guys why I haven't been missing. So we got, so I saw his picture on adoptapet.com and I reached out to the rescue, which is funny because the rescue is a Shih Tzu small breed rescue. And so, but they had, we're done, but they had him. So I was like, huh, I wonder what's up. So we went and met him and of course that night we took him home. The rest is history. Um, but I asked her, I was like, why do you have him? And she's like, somebody just dropped him off and I wasn't really gonna say no. So I feel like kind of the stars aligned for us to be able to bring him into our home. And he had a meet and greet set up before we came and saw him, but they ended up not taking him. So I feel like the stars just really aligned for him to be able to come into our family. Um, so we've just been kind of in the middle of puppy training. What's really awesome is that he is already pretty much potty trained. He's, he's had an accident in the house, if you want to call it that. It was just like a little puddle when he got too excited. But other than that, he's been doing awesome. Um, he is not up to date, or he has most of his shots, but yet, but he's not four months yet, and so he still needs his rabies shots. So we're um, holding off on taking him anywhere except like the park and on a walk. So we've been extremely busy with that, as puppy owning goes. Um, he's been doing great. And we love him because he's so cute, huh? And ever since then, we've just been adjusting our lifestyle to fit his. Cats are getting okay with it. We did a couple of things. We got him a baby pen. So he has his whole section of the living room because I didn't really want to crate him. I'm not the biggest fan of crating dogs. Um, so he has his own section of the living room and the cats and at first the cats wanted nothing to do with it. They wouldn't come out of our room. And we were keeping the door to our, my husband and I's room shut. And so they didn't really like get to see what was going on, whatever. But then Ryan brought home just a baby gate to put in like our door frame of our bedroom. And that has helped immensely. We've put their food on either side of the door. So he eats on one side, they eat on one on the other. And that has made a world of difference because they can see what's going on, but he can't get in the bedroom. So we've been doing that. He has a dog door. He's going through the dog door great. And I'm trying to think. We did have some issues with going to the bathroom. I switched his food not knowing he was on grain free food and then I switched him to grain food, I guess. So he's been having a little bit of issues with the bathroom. But 
we think we've got it cleared up. We fed him some chicken and rice strictly for two days and now he's back on his kibble. So he should be good to go. There's a little bit TMI, I don't know why I needed to tell you that, but there it is. Um, but yeah, that is why I have been gone. He's been an awesome addition to our home and we love having him. I have already been looking at all the Disney stuff I can buy him. Um, so we will see where that goes. It's really cool that, um, I know PetSmart has like their Tsum Tsum line. And then I think Petco has a Star Wars line. And as we continue to just settle in with him, we get to do fun things like that and pick out all the fun things that he can have when he's older. And I don't really wanna buy like too permanent stuff because he is gonna get bigger. He's gonna be about 50, 60 pounds maybe. Of course we don't know because he is a rescue. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to update everybody on why I've been missing. I'm so sorry. It's been kind of hectic around here, but we are ready to rock. And I am so ready to get back to filming my videos. So thank you for watching this video. I know it's not Disney themed, but it was a little explanation as to why I've been gone. I hope you guys have a great day today and I will talk to you later. Bye.